Welcome to Pan Branch Designs. I decoupaged three coasters to go on my dining room table. I needed one more to complete the set. One day I saw some cute little ducks outside my window and I decided that an image of them would be perfect for the decoupage project for my last coaster. I really enjoy nature and birds. I used a photo that I took of a hummingbird on one of the coasters. For another coaster, I used the photo of a sunrise that I took from my kitchen window. For the third coaster, I used a photo that I took of a deer and I decoupaged that image onto the coaster. For the fourth and final coaster, I was going to use my photo of the hooded merganser. The problem was the photo wasn't in the shape of a square. I had to edit the photo so it would be in the correct shape to fit the coaster. So I had to add some water, I had to fix some of the shading and shadows in the water, and just sharpen up the picture a bit so that it would look right when I printed it out to decoupage it onto the coaster. The app I used to do the editing is called Procreate. For this coaster, I decided to try something new. I decided to use plastic wrap as the adhesive to fix the decoupage paper onto the coaster. So I put the plastic wrap down first over the coaster, which I had already painted white. Then I put the photo on top and then the parchment paper on top of that. I already had my Cricut Easy Press set at 255 for my last project and I just left it at 255. For some reason, I thought that would be hot enough. The plastic wrap did not melt and it did not adhere the decoupage paper onto the coaster. So I applied some more heat at the same temperature to see if it would make a difference. Because the plastic wrap didn't adhere the paper to the coaster, I decided to raise the temperature to 300 degrees to see if that would make a difference. The temperature just wasn't high enough to melt the plastic so it would adhere the paper to the coaster. I printed out another image, applied the plastic to the coaster, cranked up the easy press as high as it would go, which was 400 degrees, and gave it another shot. I didn't time it, nor did I show it in the video, but I did spend more time pressing the easy press down onto the coaster than is shown in the video. Unfortunately, it still wasn't hot enough or I was doing something wrong because it just wasn't working. The plastic was melting to the paper, but it wasn't adhering to the coaster. I hate to admit this, but I gave up. I decided to put a coat of Mod Podge onto the coaster and then go back to my old method of just ironing it on, just using the Mod Podge and heat to adhere the image to the coaster. I could have tried to do the iron-on method with the plastic again, like with the household iron at the highest temperature without the steam setting, but because I could actually smell the plastic as it was heating up, and I didn't like the idea of breathing in fumes or creating fumes in my office, I decided to just forego that idea and just go back to my regular method of just using the regular Mod Podge and the iron-on method. I'm guessing that my easy press just didn't get hot enough. Maybe I didn't apply enough heat. Or maybe the plastic wrap that I used just wasn't the right brand. It was an off brand of um, cling wrap that I was using. Nevertheless, after I adhered the paper to the coaster using my old method of just ironing on the paper over a coat of dried Mod Podge, I put a coat of Mod Podge onto the coaster. Um, it's going on looking white, but it does dry clear. I then took the coaster outside and put three coats of Dupli Color Acrylic Enamel Clear Coat on the coaster. All four 
of the decoupage tissue papers are available online at panbrandsdesigns.com. Please click the like button and subscribe to the channel. Also click the notification bell so that you're alerted when new videos are uploaded. Please stick around till the end of the video. Relax and enjoy the sunrise, the hummingbirds, the deer, and also the hooded merganser as it swims around on the lake behind my house.